We're just about getting ready to start the ceremony. If we can have all the teams in the center, please. Just the teams. The teams in the center, the others can stay on the on the side. Director at the National Bank of Angola Limited, Ms. Vida Harrigan, Education Officer, Primary slash Pre-Primary, Mr. Raymond Gishard, President of the Anguilla Football Association, Head Teachers, other education officials, football officials, coaches, members of the media, members of MBA staff, students and spectators, a pleasant good afternoon. We will begin this afternoon ceremony with the invocation by Reverend Maynard Hodge. Can we all bow our heads in prayer, please? Let us pray. O oh God and Father, before we move further with the proceedings of this historic occasion, we pause in humility as we seek your blessing and divine protection on everyone present here today. We give you thanks for the National Bank of Anguilla for so graciously sponsoring this annual primary school football tournament over the past 22 years. May your favor ever follow NBA and may prosperity precede and continue to attend its management and staff and its many customers at home and abroad. Father God, we give you special thanks at this time for the staff and pupils of the primary schools in Angola. We recognize that our young people are growing up in an unstable, confusing and selfish world. We pray that even through their participation on or off the field of play, they may appreciate that your ways, O oh God, give more meaning to life than the ways of the world, and that following you, O oh God, is far better than chasing after selfish goals. Remind the various school players that football is a team game and that they should always play as a team and not seek to show themselves off as individuals. Grant, O oh God, that this year's football tournament may contribute in no small measure to the removal of any district or village barriers and prejudices that may have prevailed in the past among the pupils of the primary schools and may they be of one heart and mind as they play the game, not only for physical benefit, but we pray that the exercise will also contribute to the spiritual, social, emotional, and educational well-being of all the participating teams. The better team usually wins, but we pray that the other team will take courage and not regard failure as a measure of their worth but as a chance for a new start. And Father God, you protect all who put their trust in you. Please grant divine protection to all who shall be taking part in this football tournament. Preserve them with your mighty power, that they may not sustain any injuries, nor be overcome by any other adversity. And finally, Father, may all primary schools in Anguilla 
experience the joy and delight of participating in the current tournament. Father God, please hear our prayer and grant our petitions, for we ask them in Jesus' name with thanksgiving. Amen and Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend Hodge. We will now ask everyone to stand for the singing of the national song. Welcome Mr. Foster Rogers, Director of the MBA, with the welcome address, Mr. Rogers. Thank you, Madam Chair. Let me recognize Ms. Deslin Smith, MBA, Reverend Father Minas Hodge for the invocation. We have with us our very own head of primary and pre-primary officer, Ms. Vida Harrigan. We should have in the midst as well, Ms. Diana Claxton Kane Carty, the deputy president of the Angola Football Association. And to all you students here this afternoon, good afternoon. It was certainly rousing just now to hear the young students sing out the national song of Anguilla so lustily with such confidence. In fact, the words just rolled off your lips so easily. 
It says to me that you certainly do have our national anthem at heart. And I certainly hope that that does spill over into your school activities. I hope it does spill over into your daily activities. And I hope that commitment to country follows you through the rest of your lives. I'm here this afternoon to welcome you on behalf of the Board of Directors of the National Bank of Angola. Our motto is committed to development, not only banking, a commitment to Angola's development. And certainly Angola, over the last two decades, almost two and a half decades, that's 25 years, has benefited greatly from the input or the impact of the National Bank of Angola here in our community. And the primary school football competition is just about one example of how the National Bank of Angola feels about our country and how the National Bank of Angola commits to the development of our nation for our youth. Certainly it is something that we say very often that the youth is the future of our nation, but it is true. The youth is the future of our nation and we feel in the National Bank of Anguilla that if we begin at your age to teach you how to play together, how to work together, how to compete in a friendly way, that you would take those things with you to the rest of your life. You would learn what it is to be competitive while at the same time be respectful of each other while at the same time knowing the rules of the game and that will take you through the rest of your life. At this very same place, this very same venue a few weeks ago, the president of, the, of FIFA sat right here, stood right here for the opening of this facility and said to everybody here, enjoy your life. Enjoy the game of football, but enjoy life. And what he meant by that was simply to say yes, play your games, less, yes, learn your lessons, yes, do well in school, but through all that, enjoy your life. Because life is very short, boys and girls. You don't, it doesn't seem right now at your age that life is short, but life is very short. So on behalf of the National Bank of Angola, I welcome you here this afternoon, and I ask that you play well. Over the next few weeks, you play to your best. Over the next few weeks, you stay within the rules of the game. You compete in the way it is meant to be. You compete and you be respectful of each other and that you certainly put your best out for your school. And I know that the best school will win. I know who that school is, but I won't say which one because I'll be... Anyhow, may the best school win and I wish all of you, from Island Harbor all the way to West End and all the schools in between, I wish you the best. And on behalf of the bank, the management and staff, have a great time. Thank you, Mr. Rogers. I will now invite Ms. Vida Harrigan, Education Officer of Primary, Three Primary, with some remarks. Allow me to adopt the protocol already established. Good afternoon to everyone. I am delighted to be here this afternoon to be part of the NBA Primary Schools football competition. I am even more pleased that the opening ceremony can be held here at the Webster